Well, today is off to a good start. It's 6 a.m., already got my coffee, and there's a JZX100 here to pick me up. Let's go to D1, boy. So we're a little bit of a ways uh, into our journey to Scuba Circuit, but uh, we just stopped at uh, Hasadat SA, SA service area, PA, parking area. So uh, yeah, we got a little energy drink, some uh, stuff from the bakery, and we're heading back on the road. Hopefully we get there early enough that we can get a car park at uh, Scuba, Scuba Circuit. Uh, although from what I understand, it's gonna be a little bit crazy today. Everyone had the same idea and wants to go to D1. Yeah. So, back on the road, Jack. So we're now at Scuba Nissan. The car park's pretty cool. There's a lot of really uh, interesting cars here. We parked next to 35. 34 rolling in. There's a lot of cool cars in here. We need to check out this car park later on in the day. We might make a separate video with just the cars in the car park. Look, look at those freaking wheels on that tiny thing. That's cool as. I love that. And the free lock. All right. Yo, there's some sick cars here. There's an FD behind in there as well. But uh, you guys got to see what we're wearing right now. So you're not allowed to use umbrellas when it's raining at these events, obviously, because umbrellas in a grandstand, you're blocking the view for other people. It's not a good time. Um, so yeah, rocking a poncho. It's gonna be a fun day. So just taking a quick look at the guys are uh, getting some practice in right now. And this is where they start at the starting line and then once they cross through there, they can start drifting. It's gonna be pretty cool to watch. I'm really keen to get into the grandstand where we're uh, over in there and take a look at everything. So we managed to get in the pits before we go to the grandstand. We're gonna take a quick look at some of the cars that are competing today. Obviously, uh, the D-Max S15s are looking amazing. You got Nelke there, looks like they're doing a bunch of work on his S15, 2JZ. That was just like literally just built and thrown together in like the last week or so. They had a crazy deadline to meet on that and they pulled through. Man, there's so many cool cars out here right now. It's gonna be interesting with the weather too. It's good to see people still running the Sora sash, the old like uh, JZZ30 chassis. Mark two, Mark two. Yo, this is cool. S14 with the Rocket Bunny front kit. Super nice. The new Supra, Daigo's new Supra, obviously. That's pretty cool. Yo, someone's still running a C33 Laurel. That's sick. That's sick. Man, there's so many cool cars here. Oh. So just taking a look at Daigo Supra and uh, you know, going by my previous comments on this car and how I didn't like how the fender and the hood met, I really like what he did with the wide body on this. It looks so much better, it flows nicer with the rear end. Uh, I still definitely don't like the way that the front nose kind of points there, that line's a bit weird, but it's actually a little bit smoother out on this kit. I don't know what he's done, but it looks so much better than what that uh, the ones on display look, that's for sure. Definitely much better in this form, that's for sure. Uh, we're gonna go look at some other cars now but then we need to get to the uh, the grandstand and get a seat. So here's the other uh, new Supra that Daigo's put together as well. Pretty cool. Um, but we also know that Toyo Tires has one this year rep repping them. Kawabata san supposed to be driving, so pretty, pretty cool. I think I already see it. Oh man, it looks cool. Yo, this 2JZ swapped uh, 86 is also pretty baller. Love that. So the Toyo tires are 86 with the VR38 in there. Then uh, obviously they got the 180. And here's the new one. You know what? I kind of like what they did with this over Daigo Saitos. Yeah, the headlights are definitely more unique on this and pretty cool. Oh man, it's going to be so sick watching these guys drive. Again, hopefully they end up battling each other. That'd be so cool. Daigo versus Kawabata in these things would be sick. We've got some more uh, pretty cool cars. We've got another Mark II and two more S15s up here. And uh, obviously the Toyo tires are uh, R35 GTR further down here. Man, looks like it's on bags or something too because it is like sitting on the ground pretty much. Look at that. Very, very cool. Okay, so the first guy's off. This is for qualifying. So we'll watch it on the screen a little bit until we see them come around the corner and then we'll switch to that. All right, here he comes around the corner. Nice, he made that pretty well. No casualties yet. I'm glad. 
So here comes Daigo and his new Supra. That anti-lag is insane. <laughs> What's anti-lag? All right, let's watch him through the rest of the track here. We got it on the on the iPad. Damn. No, he went off track. We're not sure what's going on, but Noki hasn't gone out on the track at all. And they're now pushing his car out of the pits. So, uh, maybe something's wrong with his car and he's having car troubles. And he might not be uh, competing today, which would super suck. You guys gotta listen to this Ferrari. It's insane. Oh! No! No! How did that just happen? So Daigo Saito is running again now. Hopefully he does well. Let's see how he goes on that last corner now. He's got it now, I think. We'll see. Yeah. He got it that time. Good job. Just going for a quick walk to stretch the good old legs. Um, the seats aren't the most comfortablest on uh, that grandstand. But I wanted to take a quick look at this thing. Very nice, 8.6. This thing's nice. Good for some fun too, in case you can't tell. Really nice car, I love that. So I found a new spot to watch. This end section of the track. <laughs> Damn, hell yeah. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. Damn, that bob is on point. So in a little bit, the expedition kind of guys are gonna go out and get to do some demo runs. And uh, what's really cool is the R31 house, R30 Skyline is here. This thing is a weapon. I can't wait to see this out of the track. I've been wanting to see this thing driving for ages now. So I'm pretty keen that this thing's here and gonna be out there driving. It's a really cool build, so it's gonna sound great. Also, RB block. Nothing crazy fancy new JZ or VR38. So pretty keen to hear this thing full song. Just checking out the Toyo tires uh, FD. It's good to see people still running rotaries here in uh, competition, that's for sure. Really nice bay, big turbo. All the good stuff you want to see for a rotary, right? I mean, I don't know because I'm not a rotary genius, but I'm hoping that one day I'll, uh, I'll get there. So I caved in and kind of bought a nice hat today. It was uh, actually pretty decently priced. It was only 20 bucks. Really nice PMU racing uh, brakes hat. I've really been wanting one of them for a while and uh, finally pulled the trigger. But uh, we've got a bit of time now before the comp continues. So we're just gonna kind of walk around, check out some stuff. You guys know what time it is. Georgie the Premium, it's Scuba Circuit. All right, we're gonna do this right on the ground. We're gonna give it a nice shake, by the way. Thanks for shouting me your coffee, Phil. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. So uh, your ASMR coffee fix today comes from Phil. There's a 1.5 version. Let's do it. Hope you're ready for this, guys. Oh yeah. Mm. That's good. Have you tried this yet, Phil? I have. Is it good? I like it. It's the, is it the best canned coffee you've tried? No. No? Uh, cold coffee, I actually think the... Emerald Mountain? is super good. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. Cold. And yeah. when it comes to warm, um, 
I like the, 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 the rainbow one, which is rainbow one. Here. It's pretty good. Yeah. As well. I definitely prefer this cold over the emerald. That's my personal preference. But you can't judge Max Coffee because Max Coffee is pretty much like a sugar. It's like the Coke of coffee. It, what it is? It's Red Bull of coffee. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. That's a good. That's good. Red Bull yeah, Monster of coffee. It's yeah. All sugar. For sure. That's correct. All right. Let's head it back up to the grandstand and uh, hopefully get to see some uh, cool tandems. Here we go. Man, keeping that proximity in weather like this is insane. Let's look at this screen. They're going to be all right. Oh, it's hard to see. So Daigo Saito is now coming in his new Supra, bursting the S14 with the Rocket Bunny front end. Damn. Watch it here. That anti-lag is insane. Damn. Doing such a good job. Alright, so here's the second part of the tandem battle. Daigo in the front. Damn, that anti-lag. Let's check it out down here. Yeah, I think Daigo's lost this one. So it looks like Daigo lost that because, uh, yeah, last round he did really bad and got an 84, negative two. So yeah, Hibby no beat him. There you go. Sorry, uh, Saito didn't uh, didn't do too well. Bummer. But I mean, new chassis, right? So it does take time to get used to that. So now we're about to see Kawabata in his new Supra. They're doing pretty well. Let's tune in here. Doing pretty good. Oh. Are they allowed to, they must be allowed to straighten in that back end. Yeah, it looks like they're doing really well in this back section. I don't know what the chase driver is doing. He's no proximity at all, but I mean, that's the thing with the DOS system, right? As long as he matches the angle, it's kind of okay. Yeah, so Kawabata just won that with a 94. And uh, you got Ishikawa-san at 91. That's a pretty decent score. Man, these conditions, I'm, I'm really surprised how well the drivers are actually coping. Obviously, there's a there's like a wet weather composite where like they get extra points added on. Um, but yeah. Right, so here we go. Ishikawa-san in the 34 and Kawabata in the new Supra. Kind of... The new enemy of the skyline, right? So they're coming up here. We're switched over here now. Yeah, we come back down here. Doing pretty good. Yo, Kawabata is killing this. All right, so they're allowed to straighten up on this section, and then they go back into drift. Yo, Kawabata's keeping proximity right on him. He seems way more comfortable in the new Super chassis than what Daigo does. Yeah, damn. Well, there, Kawabata's got this in the bag. So yeah, Kawabata came out on top with a total of 190 against uh, Ishikawa-san at 184. So yeah, really consistent driving there from Kawabata in the new chassis. Definitely looks like he's a lot more comfortable in the new Supra than what uh, Daigo Saito is, that's for sure. But then again, it was kind of kept quite secret that he had the new Supra because we didn't find out until like maybe like a week before D1 that he had it. At least that's that's when I found out and I didn't see any media from Toyo tires or anything until then either. Pretty cool. Lo looks like he just got a lot of seat time and got super comfortable in the chassis. So this battles uh, Suinaga-san Suinaga and Ueo. this yo what you gotta watch that oh my god watch this transition that was watch that yeah so a little bit of a change of atmosphere here we're no longer at the track I have I have a reason for that though let me explain in the middle of top eight my battery died 
and uh, I didn't bring a spare one like a uh, like an idiot so we are now at a PA halfway between scuba and uh, where I live so we're on our way home now I actually had a really nice nap in Phil's car on the way here I was out like a light I don't know if I said in the vlog but uh, last night I got like two and a half hours of sleep maybe three if I was lucky um, for this morning so yeah I was up late last night editing after Daikoku to get the video out in time and uh, yeah by the time I went to bed it was like uh, 3 20 3 10 and we had to be I had to be up at like 5 45 so I didn't sleep much at all but um, it was all worth it because I really enjoyed today seeing the guys and how they could control their cars so well in the wet uh, has really encouraged me to step up my game. I want to get some wet driving practice in for sure. Um, especially like, you know, when we start doing comps and stuff next year. So I need to find a way to do that. Maybe we need to go to like Kudu Kudu Land at Ebisu and just spend a bunch of time there on the, uh, there with some wet things. But we need speed, so that's another thing. Maybe we just need to try and go to Ebisu during wet days. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I am exhausted, so I'm going to take another nap on the way home. And uh, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much, Phil, for chauffeuring me. Oh, absolutely. If you guys don't know, Phil does have a YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Go check him out. He puts out cool content, stuff like this in Japan. He, he's, he's, uh, he's a German that works on an American airbase, if that makes sense. In Japan. In Japan, yes. So uh, his point of view on things is quite interesting. Anyways, I'll leave you guys to it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get your Semet stickers. Don't forget, uh, competition ends on the 10th of July. Every sticker you buy now is an entry to the JDM Awesome Amazing Accessories giveaway pack thing. I'm really exhausted. I need sleep, but buy a semi sticker. Jamatane guys.